<sighs> Hello, hi Cheryl. Just logging on to my Facebook. Hi, Yvonne. Cheryl, I lost my glasses today out shopping. All right, let me put in my link. Hi, Terry. Hi, Bonnie. How's everybody doing today? Oops, sorry, Louie. I just kicked my dog. <laughs> it is so hot. So, let's get started. It's very hot up here. Today I'm doing the reef I was supposed to do on Thursday, but I cracked my tooth at lunch. My tooth split right in half and I still haven't taken care of it. Hi Charlotte. Hi Mary. Hi guys. So we are doing a buffalo plaid reef. I'm going to turn my camera so you can see better. And I'm using a 15 inch raised work wreath for him. Hi, Lorraine. God, it cooled off. It was in the 90s and it's in the 70s and I'm still sweating. <laughs> I know, Bonnie, I do need to, I'm trying to avoid the dentist as much as possible. My tooth has been bothering me today. I, uh, I'm a grinder, I grind my teeth, and I, a few years ago, from grinding my teeth, I cracked it right to the root, it woke me right up, and then it got infected, so I had to have it pulled, and I went to lunch with my mother last week, hi Rosemary, and hi Aunt Mary, and um, I bit into a chip, obviously I was grinding and it was just about to crack, but I bit into a chip, and all you heard was a huge crack. My mother was like, what was that? I was like, that was my tooth. But I hate the dentist. I don't want to go. They're going to pull it. I'm trying to keep my teeth. <laughs> All right. I'm going to um, turn my camera so you guys will have a better angle. So you won't be able to see me a little bit. <laughs> okay. So we're using 30-inch ruffles, and I'm using black and red. And it's a poly deco mesh. I'm using these ribbons, the buffalo plaid, and the window pane. But those are the ribbons. They're 14 inches long. <clears throat> Hi, Diane. And I'll show you my picks. I'm not sure if I'm going to use all these, but I thought these would be cute in there. Um, I got this one. I love these. I love these birds. With the long tails. Aren't they cute? So I got green and red birds. And then I got like these kind of things. And this is the hat. Let me grab that. I was trying to find some of this greenery at Hobby Lobby, but they didn't have it. Hi, Zora. Just like Laura. <laughs> um, yeah, isn't that adorable? I love this hat. 
And then I might add, I don't know yet, I'm not sure. We'll see as we go, but I also have these. So I might add those, we'll see as we go. But you guys know I'm not the quickest at ruffles, so we should start that. Hi, Claudia. Yes, I remembered you said, just like Laura, but with a Z. <laughs> Yeah, it's not a molar. It's an upper middle tooth, Cheryl. And I lost my glasses today shopping for you. It's okay, though. I wear the dollar store glasses. <laughs> Hi, Lori. Hi, Kristen. Ooh, I should have brought a fan in here. All right, so let's get started with the ruffles. I'm going to move this over so you can see me. The ruffles, I'm using 10-inch... Um, poly deco mesh and I cut them 30 inches long. Hi, Debbie We're doing 30 inch ruffles I wish I could call one of the kids to bring me a fan So you're just gonna walk them in with your fingers Yeah, it's been a busy week. I cracked my tooth and then the other night I let my cat in and the whole back end of her was wet not the front, just the back. And it wasn't raining, so it was, I didn't know if she fell in the pool halfway. But she was limping, um, holding her front paw up. So I took her to the vet today, and she ripped two of her paw pads off somehow. I'm just going to slide that one over a little so it's more even. Yeah, she ripped her paw pads off on one paw. So she can't go out for 10 days. Poor kitty. She just loves it out there, too. It's going to be hard to keep her in. But, yeah, that was a $350 bill. Like, I hate taking the animals to the vets because I know it's going to cost that much. My tooth is going to cost twice as much to have pulled because I haven't put me to sleep. <laughs> well, it was a lot of money because they had to put my cat on anesthesia because she was trying to bite them. Hi, Shelly. Um, yeah, she did. She, well, she was in pain, so... She didn't want anybody touching her. Poor kitty. Yeah, trying to give her a pill is going to really suck. Because she's probably going to try to bite me. I'm going to have to put it in soft food or something. So hope she eats it. I should have just paid $50 more for the shot. But the pill was a lot. Like, do you know how much ribbon and mesh I could have bought with that? <laughs> Cheryl could have had a better shopping spree at AC Moore. So I'm alternating these because it's the buffalo plaid. So we're going to do red, black, red, black. Hopefully I don't mess this up. I think the last time I was trying to go top, bottom, top, bottom, and it really confused me. But that's what happens when you're live. Hi, Rain. Oh, I love that name. That's a pretty name. Um... I watch uh, Supergirl, and one of the villains on there, her name is Rain. <laughs> yes, I know. Supergirl. I watch Supergirl, The Arrow, DC Legends. I love all those shows. <coughs> My son got me in The Flash. My son got me in that last season at camp. And then I binge-watched every single one of them from season one. Hi, Gail! Every, se every single one of them the whole week. I just laid on the couch and watched all those DC Legend shows. <laughs> I really like them, though. I like those kind of shows. And reality shows. Yeah, I love them. I love Supergirl, The Flash. Good shows. The Rowl on Break. And The Arrow. Stephen Amell. He, uh... He plays the arrow. He was at my daughter's restaurant, and we were looking for him at the Dome because we heard he was going to the game. So we got tickets and went to the Dome. We didn't obviously see him. And she called out of work to take me because I wanted to see him. Hi, Carlina. Carlene. Um, and he ended up going to her work <laughs> that night that she called in to take me to go find him. So funny. Just wanted his autograph. We didn't. By the time I drove all the way home, 
her job called and said he was there, but we didn't feel like going back down. I know. We regret it now. But he likes SU basketball, so he'll be back. Hi, Debbie. I, I bought all my um, reforms at Sims Pottery. And I got, I got some of them at uh, Carolina Pottery, too. Yeah, it beats doing the um, pipe cleaners. But I do like using the pipe cleaners when I want a lot more ruffles. You could always add them onto here, you know, if you wanted more. It's going under. Oh, has anybody tried that new web mesh? It's so good, you guys. It does not fray whatsoever. I used it in my Halloween wreath I just made. No frays. And I still can't get my little snippers undone. Hi, Debbie. Yeah, I cannot get my little snippers undone. Snips, Cheryl. And those were not that cheap. So remember when you're doing the ruffles to stand up. See how I'm standing them up? I got like a comet going across there. I can't see. There. You stand them up so they stand up nice and tall. Looks so much prettier. I set my mesh on the floor. <laughs> Hi, CND. Ooh, can Canada. Yes, Debbie. Yeah, Sims Pottery. They got a lot of work reforms. They're hard to get. Carolina Pottery has them too. They have a lot more colors. Um, I ordered a bunch of them from Sims. And they were more like um, the skinnier ties. Not the full ones like this one. Not sure what that's called. I know Lori would know. Hi, Sandy. How are you today? Yeah, so I had to take the cat to the vet, and I had to clean the pool, and then, you know, clean the house and do a bunch of other things, and then I laid on the couch for a few minutes to get in a quick show, because I'm behind on all my DVR shows, and I passed out, and I woke up at 6.30, and I was like, oh my god, I almost slept right to my life. <laughs> that would not have been good. And I had nothing prepped, and I looked like a hot mess, so. That last hour was very busy. But, my days are always busy. And my pool is turning green again. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. We took all the trees away. We probably took 20 trees out of our backyard um, that were near the pool just so we didn't have that problem. And I'm still having the problem. Of course, I don't have like as many leaves falling in it. Yeah, the pencil ones. Thank you, Diane. Yeah, they're skinnier. I like, I like these ones. They're thicker and pretty. They only had um, the pencil ones. So I got a whole bunch of those. Lori probably bought all the, the thicker ones. <laughs> Hi, Patricia. Okay, so again, we're doing 30 inch ruffles. For those of you who just came on. I was going to do the poof, but I just like the 30 inch ruffles. They're, they're so pretty and full. So we're just alternating between the ruffles from black to red to black to red.
So are you guys still in extreme heat down south? It was like 90 here for two days. Yes, we are ruffle girls. I love my ruffles. I do. People are probably like, oh God, she's doing another ruffle. Hi, Judy. How are you? I just love ruffles though. I think they're the prettiest. I do think with the poof method though, you can spread the ribbon out a little more. But because um, I'm using the work reform and I'm not putting four ruffles in every um, section, so they're not as tight, that they'll spread out a little better. It's insane there, Kristen. Yeah, it was really hot. I was like, ooh, 90 pool day. And I don't think we've been in the pool since it's opened. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I know Cheryl's always having tornado warnings. That's crazy. That's the only reason why I'm afraid to move south. Maybe I'll just go like North Carolina. Of course, I can't get my husband ever to leave upstate New York. I'm hoping as he gets a little older, he's gonna get sick of the winter. My best friend lives in Arizona. And Lori, you're in North Carolina, right? Are you in North Carolina? Oh, 80's not bad, Cherry. And only in the 70's here. High 70's. And it's really hot up here. Of course, I'm up my craft room's upstairs. I do have an extra room in the basement. I'm not a big, even though it's finished, I just don't like basements. Unless it's a walkout basement. I don't know, I can't see what's going on. I feel too far away. Just not a big basement person. I've always wanted a finished attic. Hi, Shelly. Um, but yeah, if I was in an attic right now, I'd be melting. <sighs> it's crazy. Oh, yeah. And then I get up this morning, and my husband tells me that at 1 o'clock in the morning... Someone tried to um, use my credit card. It was like um, 90s. Oh, yeah, some people hit like over 100. Hi, Desiree. Um, someone tried to use my credit card at 1 o'clock in the morning. It was like IWC Corporation they were trying to charge something to. It's probably like a fake business, but um, they tried to charge $700 on my card. And thank God I have like a credit security thing. So they didn't let it go through. But they canceled my card and I gotta wait. And this has happened, this has been happening to me a lot. Um, New York City, someone tried to twice um, charge over 500 on my cards. And they always catch them. You know, they don't let it go through. Um, they didn't know my three digit pin. So, hi Sarah, thank you for sharing. Um, hi, Jean. And, uh, thank God I have that because I would have never known. But it definitely wasn't me. It's crazy. Bunch of scammers. I miss my snippers. Okay, let's do the top. And Sarah, you guys, she's the one who's, an, or not Sarah, <laughs> Cheryl is the one who's answering all your questions. She's my moderator. And she also goes live on Mondays and Fridays at Creative Reef, Reefs and Flowers. Cheryl, when you go to, when you mention me, which is so sweet, I appreciate that, but you forget to say Jean, you say Laura's Reef Firm. Hi, Carol. That's okay, you're here. <laughs> um, you say Laura's Reef Firm. That was my business name at first, but then I changed it to Laura Jean. I don't know why. But I did. It's really hard to come up with a name for your business page. 
All the ones I liked were taking. But yes, Cheryl's my moderator, and she's from Creative Race and Flowers. And she goes live on Mondays and Fridays. And then my business coach is hardworking mom. You guys all know her. Lori, she's the awesome, most awesome person ever. Hi, Emily. We are making a buffalo plaid print Christmas wreath. Um, and hardworking mom goes live on Wednesdays and Sundays. Um, one of them is live on YouTube, and I always get confused on which day that is. I think she said Wednesday, but I thought Sunday was, she would know, but I thought Sundays was YouTube, but I could be wrong. Yeah, but Hard Worker Mom goes on Wednesdays and Sundays, Creative Reese and Flowers goes on Mondays and Fridays, and I go on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Emily, we are doing 30-inch ruffles. Hi, Michelle. My sister Michelle's on. Hi, she's never been on. She always works when I, I'm doing lives. She's on vacation, though, and she's off today. Hi, honey. I love you. Someday I'll get her to do a live with me. <laughs> Yep, my dogs are barking at something. They be a barking. Hi, Judy. The strips, I'm doing 10 inch um, mesh. I got a polydeco mesh, and they're 30 inches long. And then I um, used four different wired ribbons, and I cut them 14 inches long. You guys are just gonna walk this in with your fingers. Oh my god, the dogs are going nuts. Sorry guys. I'm trying to teach them not to do that at camp because it's so annoying. What did Sarah say? I missed it. Thank you, Claudia. Alright, this tie. That's not too bad. Where's this tie? Oh, you know what I did? <laughs> I tied a bottom one to a top one. Hold on, guys. Let me use my handy dandy Bodabra. This is what it's good for. It holds everything. I, look, I tied, oh crap. I grabbed, did I do that? I feel like that's not right. Yep, I did, I grabbed a top tie. Ah, yep, that goes down there. That is too funny. Yep. Real life, guys. Real life. Okay. I was wondering why that one was twisting weird. Now I know. <laughs> I've never done that. Um, she hears them barking. Yeah, they do that at camp because I'm on a walking path. So, um, I've been training Louie with snacks not to do that. But... He's getting better because he, he knows you won't get a snack. But Max, forget it. He's old. You can't teach a old dog new tricks. Oh, you know what I should have did? I should have did. I did. No, oh, never mind. It always seems to go that way. I thought I put a red. I did put a red there. Ah, my rings are snagging it. Yes, uh, Walmart does... I think they do. You know, I'm not sure trees are um, Desiree, but I know Hobby Lobby has them. You guys, does does Walmart sell the Bodabras? I don't go to Walmart a lot. Amazon has them too. Um, but I got mine at Hobby Lobby. I'm just not really good at making a bow with it, though. I love the Pro Bow, but it's really good. Ruffle is not looking right. It's really good at holding things. <laughs> That's what I use it for. They're not that much money. I 
think it was like $14, but then you can use your 40% off. I want to say, I bought it a while ago, so I'm not positive on that price. It wasn't that much, though, especially with the 40% coupon. So I think on Thursday, I'm going to do a fall, a fall wreath, because I bought a sign at Hobby Lobby a while ago with my 40% coupon, because, oh my God, their fall stuff is so pretty, but it's not on sale. So if I go there every day, I can get one thing with my 40%. <laughs> like, if you went in the store and used it and then walked back out and then went back in, can you keep doing that all day long? Because I would. <coughs> That's Cheryl's favorite place, Joanne's. Where are we, Black? We're almost there, guys. I don't know why I put makeup on. I feel like it's melting off my face. Oh, and I, I put eyeliner on, you guys. So if I come on camera and I have black under my face, let me know. I don't usually wear eyeliner because it runs down my face. And I look like I got a black eye. <laughs> Just saying. I'll have to love you for my stuff. Yes. I love Hobby Lobby. Their fall stuff is so pretty. And their um, Halloween stuff. Their Halloween picks are adorable. They got these. Today I seen. Um, they have these like black glittery flowers. Oh, they're so cool. I just want to buy all the stuff in there right now. But it's full price. Can't do that. I know what's ever left after the holiday, though. I'm buying it all. Because fall and Halloween are my favorite. Okay. Doing red. I think we got three more. Three more ruffles, guys. I know. That one just does not want to go. There we go. I think my husband's home. So they're going to bark until he walks in the house. Some mess are so much easier to walk in than others. This one keeps sliding underneath. I don't like that. Stop that. Don't mind me, guys. I talk to myself a lot. <laughs> okay. Lori, have you been into um, AC Moore's? Their ribbon, what's left of their summer spring ribbon, is 70% off. Which is awesome. They already got fall stuff out too. Their flowers were so pretty. I should just get a job at one of the stores so I get really good discounts. What do we have, Black? I think we got one, two. Oh, I thought I was short one. Did you ever find, no, I never found the flamingo ribbon. Um, no, I didn't find it. I found it without the wire. Um, and, and then I, I did buy some off Etsy because it showed the flamingo in the front and it was wired. Of course, I should have looked at the rest of the pictures, but it was, um, a flamingo just on that one side. And then the rest of it was like watermelons and like fruit. And it was reds and yellows, the colors. 
So I, I did um, the flamingo reef without the flamingo ribbon, and it came out really nice. I really liked it. And I'm not a big flamingo person, um, but I think I might make me one of those because I really liked it. Or I'll just make another one and list it because I have three extra um, mingos. But that reef came out really nice. I impressed myself. <laughs> oh. Okay, one more. Yeah, and this red's not like, it's like a deeper, a deeper blood red. What'd you find yesterday, Lori? I'm missing the combo. Hi, Aunt Mary. My Aunt Mary's watching, guys. Say hi to Aunt Mary. Did you ever have that one crazy aunt in your family that you just love to death? That's my Aunt Mary. <laughs> she don't care. She'll tell you she's crazy. She's like my second mama. I have to pick her and my uncle up to come to camp. Soon. All right, last one. See, now if I did it with the pipe cleaners and put four in every section, we would still be doing this. That taco reef was crazy. I did 48 ruffles in that. I don't know what I was thinking. That took me all day. <laughs> and the girl never bought it. Yeah, Lori, you got flamingo ribbon? No. Is it out now? I can't find any. guys so it does look a little see-through but it won't when I'm finished you all know that I am getting faster at it aren't I the more I do it the quicker I get and it really depends on the um the mesh some are just easier to walk in than others so let's get our ribbon out oh should have got a fan but yeah, if we were doing four in each section, we would still be here. I, I would have probably started it halfway though. I was gonna start this one, but then I was like, yeah, it's not gonna take too long. So I'm gonna do the one with the rib ribbon paint in the red. So if I put it in the black, you're not gonna see it as much. And I love the window pane. I'm just gonna twist it. See, on this one, um, normally if I do, you know, with the pipe cleaners and I do my own and do it, um, the four ruffles in each section, it's so snug that I, I can't put them in every ruffle because it would just scrunch up, scrunch up. But you can on this. Oh, you seen my little doggie? Oh, you guys seen my little doggie? He is cute. His name's Louie. He's always somewhere next to me. He's my shadow. Usually Max is in here. Is he under my table? Max is my old golden retriever. It's funny because at night when I'm on the couch watching TV, Max is at my feet. Louie's laying like right between my legs. And then Kitty's on top of me too. It's like uh, a farm. Kristen, if you need flamingo ribbon, message me. I have more. <gasps> Lori, you have flamingo ribbon. I've been looking for that. Did you just get it? I would like some too, Lori. Do you have green and pink? I really want green and pink. Yeah, she was asking for me, Lori, because I was looking for it. I don't think you had it at the time because I messaged you. Did you find that down at your convention? Conve How do you say that? Convention? convention? <laughs> I almost like convection, like an oven. Yeah, I can pronunciate. So you guys, and I'm just making them all go outwards. So they're all outwards. And I didn't 
um, ducktail the, um, it's all pink. Okay. Well, can you message me it, um, after and just show me it? You keep freezing, Sarah? It happens. Sometimes you just gotta leave and come back. Yeah, Zora, Zora had nice flamingo ribbon, but I missed that message. By the time I got to her, it was gone. But I do appreciate she thought of me. She tried. I think I was changing my craft room around that day. Because trying to get more space. Space. So we're just putting these all in. My ribbons are 14 inches long and I'm just pulling them forward like this, guys. Stand that up. Just like that. This um this ribbon right here feels just like um your plaid shirts. You know, you get that heavy plaid like your sheets. I don't use that because I would sweat to death, but yeah. You have tons of space, Laura, I'm jealous. Um, yeah, the, this room's getting a little crowded, but I have a guest room next to me and I don't have guests anymore, so I might take the bed out. Thank you, Sandy. Oh, I'm sweating. I might take the bed out of there and start using that for storage because my closet's full too. But I could still, the biggest thing is um, finding space for all the wreaths when they're done. You know, where to hang them. Because I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I got 20 wreaths in here. And I have no more wall space. Oh, and there's one out in the hallway. I have a uh, really long hallways, though. I might just, um, Thanks, Aunt Mary. I might just um, put hooks down the hallway walls, but I don't know. I get nervous to do that because I have a golden retriever whose hair just floats around the house. I don't want dog hair in my wreaths. <laughs> you know what I was thinking, Lori? I was thinking of building a shelving unit on that one wall and then having like slats, you know what I mean? And then laying the reefs in there. Cause I could probably fit 10 reefs from top to bottom if I built like hubbies and then laid them in there. Thank you, Nicole. Um, I could store more reefs that way. So um, I'm thinking I might do that. And then I added a uh, What's that pegboard? The pegboard out in the hallway. I can see it right from here um, to put all my reforms on. But yeah, on this one wall in front of me where all my reefs are, I was thinking of doing that. And I got that idea. Did I do that right? I got that idea from um, Cheryl's husband, actually. Did I miss something here? I don't know. My ribbons were not great. I think that would be a smart thing to do. I just gotta build it, which I can do. I'm like a carpenter, a landscaper, a wreath maker, a cook. <laughs> I'm jack of all trades, guys. I actually got that idea from Cheryl's husband when he put storage in the garage. I was like, you know what? I should do that on that one wall. Oh, that's what I did wrong. I knew I did something wrong over here. This ribbon does not go here. I was wondering why my ribbon order was messed up. Sorry, guys. This one goes in here. It was bugging me. I knew something was wrong. There we go. I knocked them over with my hand. So they must have got messed up. Okay. 
Harry. Harry, that looks better. I fixed it, I fixed it. Hi, Melissa. Georgia, ooh, you're sweating. I'm sweating and it's only in the 70s. If I wasn't using my phone right now to record, I would call my son and tell him to bring me a fan. Stick into the mesh. Yeah, I'm always asking my husband to move south. And then when it's like, I don't know, higher than 80, I'm like, oh my God, it's so hot. And he's like, and you want to move south. <laughs> I'll move south like my uh, girlfriend, moved to Arizona, my best friend of 33 years. She moved on me three years ago. And... I know she does not like heat at all, so I know she is sitting inside in the air conditioner all the time. But, hey, okay, so we want this one in a red one. In a red, I just love that hat. I can't wait to get to the hat. And I really, I mean, I didn't think about this till last night. I wish I would have ordered, don't have any, the burlap in the red and the black because I think this would have been, hi Charlotte, thank you. I think this would have been really pretty um, with the burlap. But I didn't have it. And I didn't wanna cancel, not cancel, but make another wreath because I've been telling people I'm gonna make it. But if you're gonna make one, you could order the burlap. I just think the burlap would be very pretty. Not that this isn't. The burlap's a lot thicker though. And I'm doing the same, I'm pointing the ribbon the same way. I'm pointing it outwards, like towards me. Instead of doing the X. Don't you guys just love ribbon? I think Sims has a lot of the burlap. Oh, do they? I'll have to go shopping, Lori. It's about that time. I shopped for Cheryl today, so. I only got three ribbons at EC Moore. I mean, I should have bought more just because it's 70% off, but I already have all their ribbon. I've been telling Cheryl I would go for her. But she don't have any out there in the country woods away from society. <laughs> it was 98? Oh my God. Lori, are you in North Carolina? I didn't see you answer. I think you're in North Carolina or South Carolina. Really? It's that hot there too? Ooh. God, I was in the 90s, and I was like, oh, pool day, and then I walked outside, and I was like, nope. <laughs> it was so muggy. Too muggy. Yeah, my husband's right. I wouldn't survive in Florida. Not in the summer. I would just come here and stay at camp in the summer. And then go to Florida in the winter. Hi, Debbie. Myrtle Beach. Nice. My sister just got back from Ocean City, South Carolina. Okay. Um, yeah, she just went on vacation, my sister Michelle. Um, Ocean City. She was right on the ocean. So she had great views. I don't know, we went to Mexico and we were right on the ocean too, which their ocean was so pretty. It's like blue, green, Bahama, beautiful. I don't know, but after four days, I can only do so much beach. <laughs> I was at camp and I got all burnt this week and I couldn't even lay out the next day. I do not want to add more wrinkles. I have a tanning bed, I won't even use that anymore. Usually I just do the self tanners.
back in the day I was the tanning queen. Now in my old age, I'm not. I love these colors. I like that buffalo print. Someone asked me to make one, and I was like, what, you want buffaloes? <laughs> Melissa, you're three hours from Florida. Oh, nice. I don't know where anything is. I think we just got two more ribbons to put on, guys, and then we can do the hat and the picks. So I've been trying to get ready. I was sick. You know, my glands were swollen. My tooth is cracked. So I wasn't really making... I didn't do a wreath for a few days. Um, so I, I made up for that yesterday. But I'm, I'm doing a craft fair up at camp. Hi, Nancy. North of Milwaukee. Nice. Milwaukee. I also think of as Laverne and Shirley. <laughs> um... So I've been trying to get stuff done for the craft fair at camp. Hoping that goes well. So I'm trying to do like a lot of beach ones. And then we do Christmas in July and Halloween and all that too up there. So get as much as I can done. Oh, isn't that so pretty? Hi, Judy. But you cannot see it. You can't see what? All right, let me get the top hat. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna attach that. I really wish I could have found this at, um, I could not find that greenery anywhere. Thought it would be out by now. Hmm. I do not want to glue this. I might run. Oh, it's got like. Is that sticky? Um. I might run a. Wire in there. i just lift these up because I want it to go down into the middle. Easier to pull them up from the bottom. Isn't that top hat adorable? So it fits right down in there. Then guys, I'll hold it up as soon as I fix it. How cute is that? So, I mean, my door is black, so when I put it on my door, I'm not going to see through it. In this light, it looks like you can see through it. So, I might go add, especially on the black, I might add another um, ruffle on top of that black. Hi, Michelle. Thank you. But, once we fill it up, I, I don't think we will have to. But I don't, now these have the little, oh, I should have warmed up my glue gun because um, these have like the little clips on them. I don't really trust the little clips. Oh, let me charge my phone just so it doesn't. Um, I forgot to warm up my glue gun. Hold on, guys. Alright, 
So let's get our little, I'm not gonna attach that yet because it's staying in there. I don't need to attach it right this minute. These little picks are so adorable. I really wanted greenery though. But you guys know me. In the morning when I take pictures to show you it, there'll be more in it. <laughs> you got a bunch of what? It, I got the hat at um, Craft Outlet. I don't remember what it paid because I ordered so much stuff. I have to go through my receipts. And I don't think it was that much, girl. <coughs> Do you know how much it was, Lori? The top hat? Lori's got one, too. Yeah. I don't think I paid that much for it. I don't remember, though. Find those little. Well, I was gonna get pine cones too. I have a whole bunch of pine cones downstairs. All right, I got all my tayogs off. So I gotta wait for my gun to heat up. I forgot to heat it up. Sorry. Hi, Colleen. How are you? This hat is so cute. I wanna wear it. Oh, let me point that back down. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm just waiting for my gun to heat up. I gotta stand up because I can't see. All right. So, I'm just gonna clip it to the. I'm gonna clip that. Wait, let me fold that down. Put that right like that. Oh, how cute is that? I love these little birds. Aren't they adorable? Love them. Let's do, so we got two green and two red. This one's got the long, the long tail. Isn't that cool? Let's put him on the top. I don't know, where's his face? Oh, oh he's sideways. I think his nose fell off. <laughs> he looked like he doesn't have a nose. That's oh, okay. So cute. You know, I might just clip these. Tuck that in. Um, we got a green over there. Let's put a green over here. I'm just clipping these right to the ties. Those are so cute. I wanted these in here too. I might hide a bird underneath. And let me see. I can't see it. I gotta stand up. Uh. Hmm. Figure it out. Hold on. Let's do this one right here. Put that to my point this up. I'll hold it up in a minute, guys. I'm just trying to figure out where to put all the the little things. I don't like the birds that are across from each other. Put that one down there. And I don't think, hmm, I'm gonna put this one right here. Do we want all the birds? Maybe not. So what do you guys think of these? Do you like these? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not looking at comments. Thank you, Connie. Yeah, I'm gonna, I don't like when they're, let me clip one off and see. I got these after Christmas last year. 
It was actually after Halloween, and they still had Christmas stuff. They still had some of this stuff until spring, almost. So, I bought it, because that's when I just started making wreaths. And it was super cheap. Let me stick these. I don't know. So you just got to be careful because you don't want something too tall, especially for shipping reasons. Because the taller the box, the more it costs to ship. So I try to think of that now. I'm just going to randomly shove them in. I didn't really have to glue. That ball's moving. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna shorten that. I can probably wrap that right around the frame. Now I'll glue these in. I'm gonna stick these underneath though. So that way you have like little things on the sides too. The balls are moving though. I might have to glue those down you know, on the little pick, they're, they're going to slide off. But I like when you look on a reef and you see things in it all the way around it. Some people say I put too many things in it, but I don't care. Thank you, Sherry. Christmas is my favorite with Halloween. Halloween's actually my favorite. But I love Christmas and fall. So, let's see. Let's put one right next to the bird. I'm going to put one here. Let's put some up at the top. I'll hold this up after, guys. I know you can't really tell what I'm doing. Let's do... One here. Stay ready. Ugh. My tooth still hurts. I really don't want to go to the dentist. Mm, I'm going to do one here. Okay, we're almost done, guys. I'm going to hold it up for you. You don't need to watch me glue things down. I wonder if I can slide that ball up. Stick one there. Who needs to go? Who's going? Let's put a little one. Put another one there. And this will be the last one. Where do I want it? I think in my gray hair. All right, I'm going to point my camera up so I can show you it. Ow, my foot's stuck. Okay. Hopefully nothing falls out. They might, the bottom things, the little balls might fall out when I hold it up because I didn't glue them. Ah. Can you guys see it? I'm going to put a back on this too, I think. I might add little pine cones in there too. I left those downstairs. I'm going to fill those sides in around the hat so it's not see-through right there. Just got to push the mesh down more. I think it's adorable. Thank you, Zara. Thank you, Lourdes. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you, Lori. I know I love those little birds. I still have a red one. I might put it in there. It's a, it's um, it's more of a burnt red, Carol. I didn't want to do a red red. Thank you, Aunt Mary. Thank you, Sandy. 
Um, it's more of a burnt red, and I liked it. I think it looked better with the hat than the red red. Because the ribbon's like red and the burnt red. Thank you, Colleen. So, I will post pictures of it in the morning. I don't like to take pictures at night because they just don't look good on the wall in here. Um, they look really nice on the black door, though. Everyone says white door, but I don't know. I like my race on the black door. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you, Sarah. So, you guys like it? I like it. It's prettier in person. <laughs> it looks like a different color on my screen. The, the red does... Yeah, it's like, um, it's not maroon. It's just like a burnt blood red. Where's my, yeah, it's just a, it's just a deco poly mesh. I don't think it says the exact color. Nope. Um, I liked it though. Cause my red reds are like really red and I just didn't like it with the, um, I didn't like it um, with the hat. Hi, Kath Kathleen. Yeah, it's, I want to say it's a cranberry. It's kind of a cranberry. I have a cranberry. It's more of a burnt blood red. My cranberry's more, I don't know. Here, I'll show you. Yeah, you know why it looks um, more red? I think it's just the lighting in here, you guys. <coughs> I think it's just the lighting. My lighting sucks. I bought all kinds of lights, but I don't like them. And then I'd really be hot. And I made a flower the other day, but I don't like the center, so I gotta switch that out. Trying to do something different. I don't like it. Yeah, the the colors always it, the wreaths are so much prettier in person than they are in a picture or on camera. Um, I think they look okay on camera. <laughs> They're so much prettier in person. Like every time someone comes here or I meet them to buy a wreath, they're like, "Oh my god, it's so much prettier than it was in the picture." I mean, I try to get it outside in the daylight. Um, but the pictures really don't show how pretty they are. That's why I always take a video outside. If you guys ever notice after my lives, I always post the video. Because I think the video just shows it more than the picture. What it actually looks like. But yeah. It's pretty. It's Christmassy. Can't wait to do. I think tomorrow I'm gonna do a Christmas tree. I joined a tutorial. I bought a tutorial on how to do this Christmas tree. I can't show you all, but once it's finished, I can show you. I can't show you how to make it though. I'll get in trouble. Yeah, the pictures don't, Kathleen. They don't do it any justice. Hold it up again. Yep. No problem, Diane. Can you see it? I, I I have pine cones too. I might put them in. I really wanted to add some greenery for this. Um, but I couldn't find the greenery I wanted. Whoops. Can you see it? Hold on. I always, every time I go to type some, I go to backspace and I push enter and I'm not done spelling. People are like, what are you trying to say, Laura? 
when I do Cheryl's lives. Sorry, Cheryl. I try. I'm not a, a good moderator, a moderator like she is. She's way better at me. My attention span's just not that long, guys. I try. I'm getting a little better. Thank you, Michelle. Thanks for watching, sweetie. I love you. When you come to camp. I know, you just got back from vacation. I'll leave you alone. Can you guys see the sweat pouring off me? Whew. Do you guys have any questions? I think, oh, let me show you what I might do. I'm having a hard time finding ribbon. I found one. I don't really have this color ribbon. But I think I'm going to do this Thursday. It says, happy fall, y'all. Isn't it cute? Yeah, um, my Hobby Lobby has um, Christmas and fall out, and I want everything in there, but nothing's on sale yet. But this is going to be Thursday's Live. I was trying to find this, the lighter. Lori probably has it. Can you ship it to me before Thursday? <laughs> I don't have any of this, this color. Ribbon. Well... All the ribbon I have, and I don't have this color. Oh, I do. I get two. That's all I need. And then I can use some of the other colors, too. Isn't it so cute? Look, you can do the polka dot ribbon. Then it's got the little squiggly lines. Like, you can go off that with the ribbon. How cute is that? I love this sign. I bought it, like, a month ago with my 40% coupon. I was like, I have to have that. You got this, Lori, last year? Oh, they got it. They just got it out this year. I miss last year's fall and Christmas. Oh, nice, Emily. You have these? I just thought that was so cute. So cute. I have so many signs. I really need to get busy. <laughs> and now I want to go order a whole bunch of Christmas ones. I need more Christmas and Halloween signs. There's just so many I want and like. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. Is there anything that you guys want to see me make? Yeah, it's super cute. I love that sign. Oh, I need a fan. So if there's anything that you guys ever want to see me do, you know, if there's like a particular reef you want to see made, just uh, leave me a message and let me know. I mean, I never not have an idea of what to make. Sometimes I have too many things and I'm just like overwhelmed which one to do. My eyebrows are sweating. A snowman wreath. You know, Lori did a duck in the bubble. And oh, and you got that that sign, Lori, at the conven the convection. Not the convection, the convention. I always do that. A snowman, but um, she did the bubble wreath in um, the bubble method. The a duck wreath in the bubble method. And so I did do a Beach One Live. Oh, I've done two Beach One Lives, Michelle. I can do another one, though. I'll do one in a couple weeks. Because Thursday, maybe next Tuesday, Michelle, because you're off. I'll do a Beach One. Because I do have to do a Beach One. Um, I'm waiting. Oh, I hope uh, she sends me a sign. But anyway, she did the duck and the bubble method. So the next day I was like, because I never did that method. Here, I'll show you. I haven't used it yet, though. But I was thinking this year... Where is it? Oh. You guys, all the reefs that I make and don't do nothing with, I put in my closet. <laughs> but I did the bubble in the white because I was going to do a snowman. And I was going to do um, three of them, like the smaller one on top and then a bigger one on the bottom. 
And Lori, you got that face that can go right here. Oh, I love that face. That's See, that's why I didn't do anything, because I needed to find a face. Well, actually, I was going to make one with the little styrofoam balls and the mesh over it, but I like Lori's face better. But, yeah, that's what I was thinking. So I just put it away for this Christmas. Figured I'd use it then. But, yeah, that's the white bubble method. It's been sitting in my closet for a good six months. <laughs> Isn't it perfect for a snowman? But I really think I want to do, um, I think this is a 16-inch wreath frame. So I might do the 18-inch on the bottom and then like a 10-inch on the top. So it's, it's like the um, Easter bunny I did from, did you guys see the Easter bunny from um, uh, Regina Sellers? I did her bunny. Um, I love that bunny. That's probably my favorite wreath. Yeah, so I want to do the head in the bubble and then the bottom. Then add like a little scarf. And then Lori's, that face. I need that face. Lori, how many of those did you get? Did you only get one? Did you get more to put in your in your shop? I seen them somewhere. Was it uh, Jane's front door decor? No, um, not Jane's front door. Ugh, I don't remember. I've seen it somewhere. But yeah, that would be huge. Because my house sits back. I have a really long driveway. Um, so I like big reefs so you can see them from the road. So yeah, that would you definitely see. Like the Easter rabbit I made. I love that one. You just got one. Yeah, but wouldn't that be perfect? That would be perfect in a bubble. In the bubble method. I don't know. I have like 15 wreaths in my closet that I haven't done anything with. I started and just, I didn't like them. If I don't like them, I ain't selling them. I did one where, yes, I seen that. You saw them at the reef shop today? Oh, I'll have to look, Emily. It says you're going to be a dad. No, I haven't seen that, Diane. You could probably ask one of them to, um, one of the um, sign makers, leave them a message and they can make you one. Maybe one deck on Jekyll Exchange. Yeah, there might be one there. Yes, Carol. I'm going to do three, though, because the snowman has the bottom. I make snowmans every year. <laughs> And then my son always destroys them. Oh, makes me so mad. But, yeah, that's what I was saving that bubble for. The bubble method. I got to do two more, though. I need a bigger one for the bottom and a small one for the face. And then at Walmart, they sell the little, um, in the little containers, they sell the snowman kits. So, it's got the scarf. Well, I really could probably just use, I don't need a other kit. But they're cute for the snowman, you know, that you're doing outside. Jane will do. Yeah, Jane made me a, re uh, a sign, but she's not taking custom. Um, I asked her to make me another one. She just finished one for me for a beach, uh, for a restaurant up near the beach. And then I wanted her to do um, Laura Jean's reef for them because I wanted a big sign to put on the table during the craft fair, but she said she's not taking custom orders right now. So I just always message her every couple weeks. But there's also um, Crafty Crafty Tessie. Oh, I think that's her. Um, she does custom ones too. Or the Three Miller Sisters, you could message them. Is that is that them, the Three Miller? No, the Three Crafty Millers. I'm sorry, it's the Three Crafty Millers. I don't know if they do custom. But you can message them and find out. The gat came from where? The what? Hat. Oh, um, craft outlet. Yes, that, I said three crafties, three Miller sisters. No, it's the three crafty Millers. <laughs> uh. 
My sisters and I all should have a tattoo saying Twisted Sisters. Because uh, we're great, great. Um, This hat came from Craft Outlet. I bought it. I don't know. I probably had it for about two months. So I don't know if they have them. The birds came from Walmart um, after Christmas. They had all these things on sale on the clearance. And I just grabbed a whole cart full of them. Whole cart full of stuff. That's the best time to get all your little pick things is after the holidays. So I figured I'd put them away. And then I went in my drawer and I found them all. I said, oh, those would look cute in this wreath. That's what I did. I love, I, I'm trying to find, last year they had a blue ribbon. I made a blue and silver um, Christmas wreath. I'll have to post a picture of it. Thanks, Aunt Mary. Um, I'll post a picture of it. I think it's in my personal page in my photos, but oh, that was so pretty. My neighbor's like, um, oh my God, did you make that wreath? It's so pretty. Every day I would drive by and stare at it. And it was the ribbon. The ribbon really made that wreath. And I, I got it at um, Hobby Lobby. So I'm hoping they have that ribbon this year because I decorate my house in blues and silvers. Hi, Sally. It is hard to find them unless you have, um, you have, what am I trying to say? Your wholesale, if you, you can buy wholesale, you can get them at um, Sims Pottery has them. And uh, I looked last week and Carolina Pottery had them. They had a lot of them because I didn't get all the colors I wanted at Sims. Because Lori probably bought all those colors. <laughs> Kidding. Uh, I blame Lori when everything sold out. Her demon, buy everything. Yeah, old time pottery. I've never been old. Do they have a, can you buy from them online? Do they have a, a website, Cheryl? I never even looked at that. Probably not. It's down south somewhere, Carol. I don't think they have them up north. <laughs> I have to Google. I know I want to take a trip to PA. Lori, have you ever been to Ed London's warehouse? In Pennsylvania? Is that open to the public? Hmm, I'll have to find that out. We're just doing our living room and dining room over in Grays and Navy. Yes, my whole house is blue. I have blue everywhere. Blue is my favorite color. Because we don't have nice stores here. Oh, really? I want to live in the South. Yeah, the South got some good stores. They don't have AC more. <laughs> they got all the other... I don't know, wherever Chase lives. Chase lives. Um, he's always showing um, him shopping somewhere, and I just want to be there. Oh. Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a road trip, Lori. I'm gonna stop and pick you up, and then I'm gonna go get Cheryl, and then we're gonna go to Jace's because wherever he is, there's a whole bunch of shopping. Of course, aren't you near? You live near Sims, though, don't you? Is Sims close to you? I would love to go there. I wouldn't have to pay for shipping. Cause their shipping is ridiculous. Our AC more is the Clarence Center. Oh, really? Kristen, you have to go there with your camera and FaceTime me, and then I can buy stuff there. <laughs> the Clarence Center. You could just meet you. Yes. I say we all go shopping, though. I want to see all those stores down there. I will live in Lori's craft room and take naps with all I watch. Watch Lori do magic, right? Right, Zora? You can just lay on the couch and nap while she's doing lives. <laughs> and then look at her wall of ribbons. <laughs> That's so funny. Lori, you never showed us 
all of your craft room. I would like to see all your stuff. I'd like to see how much you really got. <laughs> right? I know she's got a lot. More than we see on video anyways. She's probably got another whole room and a basement full of stuff. Yeah. You know how they do, um, what's that show? Diners, drive-ins, and dives or whatever where they drive around and go to all the dive diners that are supposedly got like great food and then you can go do the garage selling well I'm going to do that but with craft people and the craft stores that would be perfect that would be like the best Christmas present oh you have a storage unit nice nice the craft room is off thank you Michelle it's getting small though I'm filling up filling up and as soon as I'm done with this live I'm going to shop at Sims Ugh, I hate paying that shipping and craft outlet craft outlets not bad though you get free shipping I wish Sims did that I don't know why they don't yes Michelle you have to come visit me I miss you I never see you visit your sister I could visit you but then you can't see my craft room. Actually, my sister Michelle and my daughter Kayla, we watched a video last year. Oh, what was his name? Oh my God, what's his name? What's the video I watched, Cheryl? Nick, Nick's seasonal decor, showing you how to do a Dollar Tree a wreath. So I went and bought all the supplies and then I bought enough for, and of course the Dollar Tree didn't have anything, so I have to get it all at, uh, I had to get everything at, um, visit your sister. <laughs> then she can't see my craft room, Lori, she hasn't been here. Um, oh, nice, Michelle, yay. Yeah, we can do a pool day if it's nice. Um, but, uh, so we, I had to get all the stuff at Hobby Lobby, but I bought all the supplies for us to do the first reef ever from watching Nick's um, seasonal decor video. And um, that's the very first reef I made. It was with my sister Michelle and my daughter, daughter Kayla. And then a month later, Lori, I seen you do the ice skate one. And then I did it again and then I was like, hey, I'm pretty good at this. And then I was addicted. <laughs> that's how I started, from a Facebook video. Oh, you are, Cheryl? You coming to see me? Oh, okay, yeah, she needs to come to me, Lori. Because she can come in the craft room, she could make a reef, and then she could go swimming. And I feed her. So, it's a win-win. <laughs> and I haven't seen her. She works a lot. Oh, well, Cheryl, you don't need to visit Mike's family. You could just come straight to me. Yeah, Lori, I couldn't I couldn't find the skates though. I did that reef, but I did um I couldn't get the skates. I couldn't find them anywhere. Of course, it was after Christmas when I did it. Um so I put a, a silver deer head in the middle. So it's almost like yours, but it's got a silver deer head. It probably different picks, but you inspired the reef. I'll take a picture and send it to you. That was my second reef. Where'd you get the skates, Lori? Sims? Where? Tell us. Tell us the secret. Oh, thanks for watching, Carol. You made it. Yay. You have a good night, and thanks for watching. Hopefully I see you Thursday. <laughs> Lori's not telling us where she got her skates, Cheryl. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, really? <gasps> you got tons of stuff then because you have to buy a lot from them. I'm not that rich. 
thought about it, and then I was like, man, nah, that's just too much stuff. What would I do with all that? Unless you put it in your shop and sold it. I should do that. I could do that. As soon as I, you know, get bigger and make more money. Yes. I'll have to go look through. You know, Lori, I can never find... Every time I go to your Etsy, I go, I get to this one. I know you have tons of pages. I I was trying to buy a kit. I couldn't find your kit. Because I really wanted the one grown with flowers. I couldn't find it. And... I was trying to look for your ribbons to see if you had the flamingo. And all I'm finding are your um, scrubs, your salt scrubs, and um, some some reefs. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I can never find you. You have to send me a link. Yes. Well, I went on right when you said you were going to um, list them, and I couldn't find it. All I kept finding was, like, scrubs, and, like, um, it looked like the, what's that stitching? You know, pe people do the pictures with the stitching. Do you sell those, too? I forgot what it's called. Oh, categories. Yeah. I'm still figuring out Etsy. I'll look again, though. I really wanted that kit. Yes, thank you, Cheryl. Embroidery. Do you do those too, Lori? You do everything. I don't know how you do all this. I have no idea. I was so tired earlier just from running around, I passed out on the couch. I almost missed my live. Thank you. Yeah, because I couldn't find it. Oh, I never did a swag. I really want to do one. I want to do one around my door. Oh, oh no. That, I can't. I did a Black Friday once, and I'll never do that again. Right? It's tiring. I mean, the pool, the cat, the store, cleaning, cooking, the pool. I was like, I need a nap. <sighs> yes, I, I definitely have to order more stuff, though. I'm trying to stock up on mesh. And I thought I had a lot of Halloween ribbon until I went to make a Halloween wreath. And, I mean, I got about 15. That's not a lot. So I got to order more Halloween. Because Halloween's my absolutely favorite. I will definitely be making a lot of those. Yeah, I'll never do Black Friday again. My daughter made me go. And then the store, the line went from the front of the store all the way down the side, all the way up the back, all the way up the side, around to the back, and then down the side, and then to the front. And she made me stand in the line while she went shopping. Ugh, never again. Nope. I ain't in that hurry to get that much of a sale. People that do that are cray cray. Yeah, I see any green mesh for um the tree, Cheryl. Cheryl, you got a lot of stuff. I'm sure you got green. You need to go dig through your boxes. You don't even know what you have. You have a shopping problem. <laughs> Crap, uh, oh, it's a lot over. Yes, I haven't been on. I ordered a couple weeks ago, uh, but I haven't been on to see the new stuff. <laughs> really? I don't believe you. I'm sure you have it. You just don't see it. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get um some poly burlap because I want to do some fall flowers. And the tree, the Christmas tree. <laughs> no, I promised you that I would um, get you some stuff at AC Moore. So I had to FaceTime you so you could see what they have. 
I mean 70% off. She got 13 ribbons, four meshes, and two of the strawberry um, bunch, you know, like I used before. Um, she got two of the bunches of strawberries. And what was it, $55? That's, that's a good deal. <laughs> Plus I'm a VIP, so I get 5% off. <laughs> I thought that was a good deal. Got a lot of stuff. Can't wait till they get their fall in there. Have you done a sunflower as a whole wreath? No. Nope. Lori has. I mean, I've made a sunflower flower. I don't think it's in here. See, you guys want to see it? I made I made a wreath and I didn't like it, so I didn't even I haven't even listed it. I think it's grown on me though. Yeah, I make like the sunflower flowers. I don't understand. Have you done a sunflower? It's a whole wreath. Yes, a whole sunflower. Is that what you mean, Sally? I made um. I know you do, Cheryl. You have. I keep telling you to list all your stuff. See, as soon as you started listing stuff, you hit sales. Ding bat. Let me tell you, I bought strawberry bushes. Yes, strawberry bushes. Oh, really? So, uh, um, well, Cheryl bought the last two today at uh, AC Moore, but AC Moore has great strawberry bushes. You should have told me you needed some. I would have picked them up for you and shipped them to you. Um, look, I made... Oh, I might have to take that off. Oops, did I scare you guys? I dropped the phone again. Rotate your phone. Ah. Um. I don't know. I, I wasn't really feeling the yellow, but I think it's growing on me. I didn't list it, though. I figured I'll just take it to the craft fair. Sorry, guys. Lori, have you used your, um, I seen you got the same stand I have. Have you tried it out yet? What's it called? I don't know the name. Akron? I've seen you got the Akron stand. I love this stand. It's awesome. The ladybug says welcome. I want to cry. Why do you want to cry? Oh, because of the um, size of them. So I'll, when I go to AC Moore, um, I'll look to see if they had more. Cheryl got the last two, but I don't think they're going to get any more in. I don't think Hobby Lobby has them either. Lori might have some in her store. Lori, do you got the strawberries from AC Moore in your shop? Sora's looking for some. Mm. Okay. It's, um, it's for your phone. I knew she had some, Sora. Um, Lori's holds an iPad. Mine does not. I didn't get the iPad holder because I can't get into my iPad. <laughs> Am I upside down? Yes, Lori does have everything. <laughs> She does, Zora. You know she had it. She's got everything. Ow. I know I dropped it trying to take it off the stand. My hands are oily. Because I, I used, um, what's her name? Stuff. It smells so good. Kim Sosiak's, um, cashmere. Oh, I love the smell of it. All right, guys. Do you have any more questions? Because I'm going to go. I want to go say hi to my hubby before he goes to bed. And Lori, um, yeah, I, is your ribbon, is the flamingo ribbon in your shop? Ah, we love you too, Zora. Thanks for watching and sharing. I'll have to look. Because I'm really going to do, I think I want to do another uh, flamingo wreath. 
I might take that up to the craft fair. Because I've seen a lot of sites at camp that have flamingos on it, so that should sell. But yeah, I'm going to say goodnight. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing. And I will see you guys all on Thursday where we're going to do fall. All right, guys. Okay. All right. Good night, everyone. Good night, Sally. Good night, Zora. Good night, Kristen. Good night, Lori. Good night, Cheryl. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.